and welcome to this Safe Medicate video tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be showing you where you can find all the features and functions within the Safe Medicate program. Once you've logged in, you are brought through to the home page. On the left hand side of the home page is the notification area. We will use the updates and notices section to post news on any new features or changes you plan within Safe Medicate. The upcoming assessment section is where you'll be alerted to any new assessments that have been scheduled for you as shown in the example on the screen. So make sure you're checking this area regularly. At the bottom right of the page, you'll find access to our various social media channels, including Facebook, Twitter, our blog, LinkedIn and YouTube. We use Facebook and Twitter in particular to share information with you and also to invite you to participate in various competitions we run throughout the year. So if you haven't done so already, then please take the time to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Heading back to the top of the page, the first thing to note is that the main menu is stays visible wherever you are within Safe Medicaid. This makes it easy to move around from one module to the next. Starting from the left, the main menu options are Home. This is just a quick way to always bring you back to this page, your home page. My record. This is where you can access the information relating to your usage of Safe Medicaid, including your assessment results. Modules. Hovering your mouse over this item opens the list of Safe Medicaid learning modules that you have access to. You'll also find the assessments module, which is where you'll access any assessments that have been scheduled for you. Account settings. This is where you can update any of your details, such as your email address or change your password. You can also find a list of the Safe Medicaid modules you have access to and the dates on which these modules will expire. Support. This menu item provides information on who to contact in your local institution for your first level of support. You can also get access to our customer support service where you can get any extra help directly from us should you need it. Finally, you have Logout. The very last item on the menu is the Logout button. When you're finished working within Safe Medicaid, you can click here to log out safely. Thank you for watching this video tutorial on how to navigate the Safe Medicaid homepage.